Hi and welcome to the virtual open day of the University of Nicosia. A huge thank you for being with us today. We will try to give you as much information as we can about the university, about Cyprus, about living at the University of Nicosia, studying at the University of Nicosia. But first of all, let me show you a nice short video about Cyprus, a beautiful island in the Mediterranean. Just listen. Remember that better days are coming. University of Nicosia. As you will see, we will take you through our campus, we will take you through our programs, we will take you through our achievements, our partnerships, our association with different universities all over the world, our students' experiences, residency. Today, you will have a taste of what the University of Nicosia is all about. However, most important of all, University of Nicosia is the biggest and largest university in Cyprus. It's the largest university in Southern Europe, and it's basically a university where we primarily teach in English. As a result, we actually attract students from all over the world. A tiny island in the Mediterranean, a university in this beautiful island that has attracted and became the home of so many students. Our beautiful university during the evening and during the presentation today, you will have the chance to meet two of our, two of our regional uh, officers, Mrs. Evgenia Kassian, who's responsible for the Russian and CIS market, and Andre Andreu, who's responsible for Africa. Benjamin has been busy in the Middle East today, but you can see him during our next uh, uh, virtual open fair on Monday afternoon. Before we start, let's see actually a video about the University of Nicosia. Thank you. 
degrees, more than 100 bachelor, master's, and PhD degrees, 400 and more partner universities for student mobility, 20 beautiful modern buildings. We have been ranked as 106 by the QS World University ranking. So proud to be number one in blockchain and digital currency technology. And we have 25 different research centers. Also, we have been ranked among the first 301 universities in times higher education. Therefore, we are a university where we are proud of, proud of our academic achievements, research, and our university city. Our university offers comprehensive education. We have the first and the largest medical school in the island. We are European leaders in online distance learning education. We are number one in the world for blockchain education. We have joint degree partnerships, but something that we will focus today, it's our student-focused teaching environment. An environment which is supported by research, as you can see here, Horizon 2020, blockchain initiative, M competition, neurology, artificial environment, unique residences, restaurants, a beautiful university city. But what do we have? Where are we? A global university. We have partnerships, we have associations, we have degree partners. You can see here all over the world. We, are, we have clinical partners for our medical school. Our universities uh, can attend and do their practice at the Swedish universities in Chicago, in New York, in uh, Israel, all over the world. Additionally, our students can transfer for different Erasmus uh, uh, programs and spend a semester or a year abroad. Why are we so proud? We are so proud because a new university has more than 12,000 students. Students coming from 70 different countries, six continents, more than 22,000 hometowns. So our students are coming from all over the world. Our students have the opportunity to travel anywhere, to study at different partner institutions as well. We have been ranked as 106 by the QS World University ranking among 24 different countries, among 1,800 universities. That's a huge achievement for a university, for any university, but most important of all, for the University of Nicosia. Number 42 for quality education by the impact ranking 2020. Among the 301, 400 universities globally. This is what we call an achievement. What are the words, the ranking, the accreditation that we have received? We have received accreditation by QS Start, EFQM. We have actually, as already discussed and mentioned about QS University ranking. We are partners with European Business Awards. We are partners with different local and international organizations and we have been accredited by the local accreditation committee of the government of Cyprus. A beautiful picture that basically represents what University of Nicosia is. It's a place where young people and people of all ages have the opportunity to receive their degrees. They have the opportunity to experience student life 
they have the opportunity to progress into a career of their choice. What you have seen in this picture, what you see in this picture is basically a graduation evening. An evening which is basically a milestone in everyone's life. An evening which is called the beginning and an evening which is called the end. The beginning of a new life and for some people the end of an academic career. This is what University of Nicosia represents. It represents the future, the future in a beautiful environment. As we already said, we are pioneers in distance learning education. We have been using a number of platforms. We have innovative distance learning programs, as you will see in a while. Our distance learning programs are offered on a bachelor and a master's degree. We have up-to-date technology, state-of-the-art learning design theory. And we have been ranked and awarded five star for our online distance learning. One of the biggest achievements that any university all over the world can have. Who are our partners? Our partners are different universities, again, all over the world, from University of Thessaloniki in Greece, Hellenic Open University, University of Peloponnesus, University of Patras, University of Western Sydney, University of Zagreb, University of Barwa, Eastburg, and most important of all, St. George University of London, where we have partnered for our medical school, one of the oldest and leading universities in the field of medicine is basically supporting our school, our medical school. Blockchain and digital currency. We are the first in the world that ever offer a course in digital currency. Number one in the world that we have graduates in digital currency. Number one in the world that has offered a degree in digital currency. The first university to offer courses for blockchain. And the first university to accept Bitcoin as a form of tuition fee payment. As a recognized university, we take a lot of pride because we have been recognized, accredited by the Cyprus Ministry of Education and Culture, the Cyprus Agency of Quality Assurance and Accreditation of Higher Education, and we have also been accredited by a number of professional bodies uh, for scientific and technical courses programs offered resulting in our students upon graduation to be able to immediately being employed in the fields of architecture, civil engineering, and law, and a lot more. As I have said at the introduction, we basically teach primarily in English, but we do offer some courses, especially in education in Greek. International students, however, they do have the opportunity to actually take Greek courses during their study at the University of Nicosia in order to familiarize themselves with the culture, with the language, or search for a job opportunity upon graduation. As we said earlier, we are a very student-focused teaching environment. We have a very student-focused teaching environment. Our relationship with our students start before our students even join the university. And this is through the Ariston Career Test, a test which actually gives an applicant the opportunity to identify the areas where the applicant can either develop as an individual based on their 
personalities based on their skills, their background, their knowledge. We have a very low student-faculty ratio. Students have academic support. All the professors will actually be available for any student during their advising hours to help, to support, to explain. We have innovative teaching methods where students can actually study online, on ground, and uh, basically satisfy the different needs of the students. And of course, as you can see here in the picture, we have different types of labs. For example, we have IT lab, we have the engineering labs, we have the labs for the School of Architecture, market, multimedia and digital, design, psychology labs, hospitality management, art, performing arts, life and health sciences, medical labs. But look at the picture here. This is our library, a place of studying. But you can see that students are offered the opportunity to meet, to basically socialize, to work on their group projects, to exchange ideas, and to feel at home. Also, you can see our one of our classrooms where students are gay, they have the opportunity to listen to the lecture, see different videos, and be in a very comfortable, modern, and supporting, and supporting environment. The University of Nicosia consists of six different schools. We have the School of Business, School of Education, the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, the School of Law, the Medical School, and the School of Sciences and Engineering. Within every school, you will have a choice of a wide selection of degrees, both undergraduate and graduate, modern degrees, updated, degrees that actually mirror the need in the industry, in academia today. Our medical school, the pride of the University of Nicosia, the first and the largest medical school in Cyprus, a medical school with more than 740 students coming from 58 different countries all over the world, including the USA, the UK, Canada, Australia, and all over Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. Our program is offering collaboration with St. George's University in London, which is the second oldest medical school in the UK. Our medical school offers a very innovative curriculum it actually exposes students to a lot of problem-solving learning experiences, and students have the opportunity to actually be placed in university in the USA, UK, Israel, Cyprus, and as we said earlier, the best, the best university hospitals in the world. New technology and a place where different cultures meet in order to create the doctors of tomorrow. Now, what you see here is basically the library of the, within the building of the School of Architecture, of the Department of Architecture. A beautifully designed building that again offers students the opportunity to work, to socialize, and of course, to be innovative, to be creative, and to enter into the modern world of architecture. Our research, a university's ranking heavily depends on research. 
And that's why the University of Nicosia has more than 25 research centers. We have labs, research labs. We have been taking part in a number of Horizon 2020 programs and our professors have been entering into major competitions and most important of all, leaders in forecasting competition and competitions. Research is done in areas such as blockchain technology, artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, neurolo neurology and genetics, computational neuroscience, commented and virtual re reality, and interdisciplinary research. This is the side of our vibrant campus. This is a unique city. And now let's see a short video of our residences. <laughs> introduce to you now our senior international admission officer, Panayotis Votsis. Panayotis will basically discuss about application process and visa procedure. Panayotis will guide you through the process of becoming a member of the unique family. Panayoti, the stage is yours. Thank you, Ria. Thank you, Ria. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, so glad that you all joined us today for our virtual open day. Uh, my name is Panagiotis Votis, and I'm a senior officer at the International Admissions Office. And uh, I will be guiding you through some visa and uh, admission uh, information, uh, making your life uh, uh, much easier in terms of what you need to do to apply to the university. I would like to say that uh, I was a student at the university as well and now have been working here for 11 years. So it gives me great pleasure to help you join our big family. Uh, first, let's start with a short video from one of our students, Sulai. Hello, everyone. My name is Lai Su. I'm a Nikosia University student. I'm a professor of international relations. For me, the best part of Nikosia University is its global language. 我们的同学来自于全球七十多个国家然后对于塞布鲁斯来说，它有太多美好的标签了，像爱神之岛、最安全的国家、阳光最充足的国家，你来到这里，你肯定也会爱上它。所以最后就让我在塞布鲁斯等你，在尼克西亚大学等你。
Uh, now, moving on to my presentation, as I said, we will discuss about the admission and visa procedure. Uh, just keep in mind that we'll be answering questions in the end, so feel free to type your questions and uh, we'll try and answer as many of them as possible. So, starting with what is needed to apply to the university. As uh, Mrs. Ria said earlier, we have more than 100 programs, ranging from bachelor to doctoral programs. So, depending on which uh, degree you choose, uh, certain requirements uh, are needed. For bachelor degrees, that is an application form, a copy of your passport and your academic documents, mainly the high school certificate and grades. Now, additionally, for master programs, we also require a bachelor degree in transcripts, two reference letters, a CV and a personal statement. And for doctoral degrees, additionally to the aforementioned documents, we also need a master degree in transcripts and your research proposal. I'm happy to say that the University of Nicosia offers scholarships based on uh, academic or financial needs. So if, if you'd like to apply for one, all you have to do is just send us an application and we will evaluate and get back to you. I'm proud to announce though that up until the 30th of July, we do have an early bird 15% scholarship. So whoever applies by 30th of July can uh, benefit from the scholarship that we are offering. The next step is of course, the visa procedure. Applying to the university and being accepted is only the first step. Uh, you do have to apply for a student visa in order to be able to come to Cyprus and study. Now, the process here is much easier because visas are uh, evaluated and issued in Cyprus by the migration department. So all you have to do is gather a set of documents, attest them uh, the way that we will instruct you to do, and uh, then send them to Cyprus and we will apply on your behalf. Our highly trained staff uh, can guide you through the whole process. All you have to do is just send us your documents and once your visa is ready, we will send it to you so you can travel. Now, what you can do if you would like to receive more information about our university is of course visit our website and uh, I would urge you to hit the uh, apply now button on the top right corner and just fill in your details. So that will automatically uh, give us the right to give you a call or send you an email with more information and further clarifications to whatever you need. So thank you for being here with me uh, through my presentation. What we will do now, we'll go to another video from one of our uh, students, Mivon. Hello everyone, Alassia from Lagos. Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping safe during this time. My name is Mivon Alassia from Lagos, Nigeria, and I am an ex-student of the University of Nicosia, Cyprus. I'm currently a marketing and communication specialist and I work for a tech company here in Lekki, Lagos, as a marketing and communications lead. Now, my experience with the University of Nicosia was absolutely amazing. I did my second degree there. I did master's in digital media and communication with a specialization in marketing, advertising, and public relations. And that basically sets the foundation for me to go on to become a specialist and an expert in my field. I also had some of the best uh, first work work experiences um, that that um, started my career. I had great, great, great lecturers that were willing to put me through and support me all through my education. And even after I left school, the experience with the school itself, with the staff, the students, the people was amazing. Accommodation, everything was, everything is pretty easy. And basically the staff at University of Nicosia, they are always available and always ready to put you through things. Even, um, we also have like a great African community there that also supports all African students that come in. So it's you would never you will never be alone and you'll never be left on your own to figure things out. There's always great support from the school, the community, and everybody around you. So I would I would I would recommend University of Nicosia over and over again, whether you want to do a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, or even a PhD. It's a great place to go experience the culture, the people, all the opportunities that come with it, the work placement programs, the fantastic program that come with studying in a European university and all of that. So I would say University of Nicosia is a great place and I had the best time of my life and it's my experience there also changed my life. Thank you. Thank you, Mivon. So moving on to my colleague, Afrodeli Batsia, an enrollment counselor at the university, who will give you more information regarding your student experience. 
Lady Batsea, and I'm an enrollment counsellor at the University of Nicosia, responsible for the international admissions and the management of the university's network of agents. Your university years can be some of the best years of your life. That's why we want to make sure that your university experience will be rewarding, fulfilling, and most of all fun. Let me share with you some quick information about the university life and what other services we offer to our students. There are many restaurants, shops, and entertainment on and off campus. Coffeeology and Unique Clubhouse are part of the University of Nicosia. In terms of entertainment, many concerts and film nights organized. Stores are also available, such as Unique Store, which basically offers a range of clothing and other accessories. Let's move on to fitness facilities. UFIT Fitness Center and UFIT Express. UFIT is a leading gym in Cyprus, is the university's gym, offering excellent services under professional guidance of sports science specialists. The equipment is brand new and some innovative classes are also available. In terms of sports, competitive and recreational sports are available to our athletes, such as football, tennis, basketball, and many more. Our sports clubs are also very popular to our students as they give an incentive to the whole unique community to join a new sport. At the University of Nicosia, you will have the opportunity to meet new people, make new friends, and also enjoy a sense of belonging. We support our students. That's why our student support team and the Center for Therapy Training and Research will always be next to you in case you need any help. The same goes for our accommodation office, which will help you find on and off campus accommodation during your studies. Let's talk about Unique September. What is Unique September is a free orientation program designed to introduce new students to the university environment. Free English language courses are available and also bonding and orientation activities such as day trips, presentations, sports and Unique City Tour. Last but not least, the University of Nicosia and the Unique Career Success Centre will help you exploring global career opportunities and also connect you with the local employers. The Cyprus Career Expo, which is the largest annual employment event organised in Cyprus uh, by the University of Nicosia and one more organisation, uh, will give the opportunity to all participants to meet local employers and also get professional guidance uh, and advice. Well, thank you for your attention and we look forward to welcoming you to the University of Nicosia. Thank you, Aphrodite. Now, we will go to our regional councillors. First, Evgenia Kasyan, who is responsible for the CIS in the Russian market. Evgenia, over to you. Thank you very much, Panayoti. Добрый день, дорогие друзья. Спасибо огромное, что присоединились к нашему сегодняшнему дню открытых дверей. Мы рады приветствовать вас. Я надеюсь, вы уже узнали много интересной информации про университет Никосии. Я продолжу на нашем родном языке, на русском языке. Меня зовут Евгения Касьян. Я являюсь советником по России и странам СНГ в университете Никосии, дипломированный юрист, преподаватель русского языка как иностранного. Пять лет назад вместе со своей семьей я переехала на Кипр и присоединилась к самому крупному в Европе русскоязычному сообществу. И вот уже три года я помогаю вам, дорогие друзья, поступить в наш вуз и консультирую по вопросам поступления. Поэтому сегодня у вас есть замечательная возможность задать все вопросы а, здесь и сейчас, и мы постараемся на них ответить. Пишите на русском, на английском, на любом языке, а, и мы постараемся закрыть все вопросы. Итак, что же такое университет Никосия, а, или по-другому мы называем сокращенно ЮНИК? На сегодняшний день, дорогие друзья, университет Никосия – это крупнейший вуз Кипра и Южной Европы, где обучается более 12 тысяч студентов. Представляете, на небольшом острове, где проживает не более миллиона человек, только в университете Никосии обучается 12 тысяч студентов. Университет предлагает академические программы по бакалавриату, магистратуре, докторантуре, их более 100, друзья. А также есть программы двойных дипломов, кооперации с ведущими вузами России, Англии, Греции и других стран. 
Нельзя не сказать о том, что университет Никосии по праву занимает ведущее место в мире в области блокчейн-технологий цифровых валют. Именно университет Никосии в 2013 году начал эту инициативу и по сей день держит пальму первенства. Вы можете получить знания в области блокчейн-технологий цифровых валют, не выходя из дома, пройдя программу магистратуры – онлайн или дистанционно. Что касается наших рейтингов и наград, то Университет Никосии занимает достойное 42 место в категории качества образования среди более чем 400 университетов по всему миру, согласно, пожалуй, на сегодняшний день самому уважаемому рейтингу The Times Higher Education. Что касается дистанционного образования, друзья, то именно университет Никосии является европейским лидером в области дистанционного обучения и применения онлайн-технологий в образовании. Именно университет Никосии стал первым вузом в Европе, который был удостоен пятизвездочного рейтинга от исследовательского центра QS за онлайн-образование. Мы предлагаем более 30 программ, Дорогие друзья, качество дистанционного образования ровно такого же высокого уровня, как и образование, полученное здесь, на Кипре, на кампусе. Поэтому мы ждем вас в стенах нашего университета не только, когда вы приедете, но и дистанционно, друзья. Кроме того, я не могу не сказать о том, что благодаря философии университета Think Big Именно университет Никосии внес огромный вклад в развитие высшего образования на Кипре, да и регионе Южной Европы в целом. Дорогие друзья, мы всегда рады оказать вам помощь при поступлении, проконсультировать по всем возникающим вопросам, рассказать про стипендии, которые предлагает университет Никосии, про документы, аппликационную процедуру, которую вам необходимо пройти. Поэтому, пожалуйста, еще раз напоминаю, пишите свои вопросы в чате, и мы будем рады на них ответить. Ну а сейчас я хотела бы предложить вам небольшое видео нашей выпускницы, которая уже закончила университет Никосии и строит свою успешную профессиональную карьеру здесь, на Кипре. Let's watch a short video of our Russian speaking graduate. Моя история обучения в университете Никосии – это однозначная история успеха. Сравнивая его с другими вузами России, Англии и Кипра, я однозначно могу сказать то, что университет Никосии является одним из самых лучших университетов. Во-первых, он дал мне глубинное понимание моей профессии. Во-вторых, теоретические и практические знания помогли раскрыться мне как профессионалу. Я однозначно рекомендую этот университет всем будущим студентам, как один из самых лучших университетов. Ждем вас, дорогие друзья, на Кипре, в университете Никосии, на нашем солнечном острове. Но ну, а сейчас я хотела бы передать слово своей коллеге Андрее, которая отвечает за регион Африка. Андрея, please. Thank you, Vienna. Hello, everyone. My name is Andrea Andreu, and I'm a regional recruitment counselor for the African region at the University of Nicosia. Thank you all for uh, watching our virtual open day today. And uh, I hope in the end we'll uh, see your questions and be able to attend to you and help you with the application process. Um, I'm working at the University of Nicosia since 2013, and I have completed my master's degree in oil, and gas, and energy engineering at the University of Nicosia. I would like to mention a few facts about the University of Nicosia that I'm excited about. 
First of all, is the largest university in Cyprus and the largest university in Southern Europe that teach primarily in English language. What we mean primarily in English, we mean that we offer a big number of programs in English language, and we also offer programs in Greek language uh, for Greek speakers. Um, another one thing, the University of Nicosia is one of the 14 universities that have been awarded five stars for distance learning education by QS. When um, this thing happened with COVID-19 in March and we had to close the premises of the University of Nicosia, uh, University of Nicosia within a week shifted uh, to online education. We had more than 12,000 students uh, on campus that they shifted to online education and they finished their uh, spring 2020 semester. Uh, normally they have done their exams and now they are preparing for the fall 2020. Uh, as a University of Nicosia, we are planning to uh, open the campus in uh, fall semester, fall 2020, uh, for our students um, who, uh, our current students, and our new students. And in the worst case scenario, uh, the University of Nicosia remain closed or um, the airports of your countries are still closed or there are no flights. You can do your education online. So you can start your program um, normally without any problem and when everything is okay, hopefully by spring 2021, you will be able to fly to Cyprus and continue your education uh, on campus. Um, also, I want to mention here that University of Nicosia was ranked 106 from 1,800 universities in emerging Europe and Central Asia region. For a young university as a University of Nicosia, to be 106 in the region, it considered as a really, really big achievement for us and for our students, of course. And lastly, of course, who doesn't know about the initiative of the University of Nicosia, the global initiative uh, in cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Um, right now, I would like to thank you again for uh, watching our event today. And uh, please feel free to ask your questions in the comment uh, session below. And uh, now I would like to introduce my colleague, Raud Abdelazim, who is uh, Enrollment Counselor at the University of Nicosia. Thank you. Hello, my name is Raud Abdelazim. I am an Enrollment Counselor at the University of Nicosia, and I'm also an alumni of UNIC. Uh, أنا درست interior design هنا أربع سنين وبعدها كملت MBA سنة ونص uh, concentration marketing وبقالي ثمان سنين كمان بشتغل هنا أنا هنا مسؤولة عن international students إني أقابلهم أول ما يوصلوا وأساعدهم يقدموا على student permit ويجددوها كل سنة وكمان بساعدهم يأدابت للإنفايرمنت الجديدة اللي هيعيشوا فيها طول فترة دراستهم عشان أنا بقالي 19 سنة عايشة هنا في أبرص uh, كل اللي اقدر اقوله لكم عن ابرس انها قريبه قوي من بلادنا العربيه في عادات وتقاليد كتيره جدا قريبه uh, هتلاقوا كالتشرالي حاجات كتير كومن فمش هتحسوا ابدا ان انتوا بعاد عن بلادكم او اهاليكم وكمان الديستنسز بين ابرس وكل البلاد العربيه قريبه جدا يعني بكتير ساعتين uh, فمن بلاد اللي هتحبوها قوي وهتحسوا ان انتوا مستريحين فيها uh, لو عندكم أي استفسارات أو أي حاجة عاوزين تسألوها ليها علاقة بالدراسة أو ليها علاقة بالجامعة أو ليها علاقة بالفيزاز هتلاقي كل الكونتاك ديتيلز بتاعتي أونلاين على الأوفيشال ويب سايت وإن شاء الله أشوفكم قريب و I hope I see you all very very soon Hello So University, uh, which uh, will help me through this uh, through this process. Hi, Christel. Yes, hello everyone. Thank you, Panayotis. Hi everyone. My name is Costel Sarasa, and I'm an enrollment counselor at the University of Nicosia. 
Uh, first things, let me thank you everyone for joining us today to our digital open day. Uh, okay, so our presentation today was actually supposed to, to give you a brief uh, introduction of who we actually are and what we are planning on, uh, what are our actually, what are our plans in terms of whether we will be opening or reopening for um, September or we will be resuming studies only in, in uh, January next year. So um, I wanted to go actually through through a list of your questions, but it seems that our presentation was actually very, very good in terms of nobody remained with any sort of questions. Uh, I would actually like to point out as uh, being an enrollment counselor, I am dealing every day with uh, different inquiries from different students. So most likely I am already in communication with some of you which you are watching today. So um, Panayotis, uh, I will just address some of the questions which we actually get every day yeah, and uh, it, mm -hmm. so it people usually offer in terms of uh, how easy it is to get admission at the university of nicosia and um, obviously what are the the processes yep. i mean uh, starting from where and going where all right uh, the uh uh, as I mentioned before, it's it's a two-step two process. Uh, it's it's the matter of applying to the university first, being accepted into one of our programs. Uh, which, uh, in order to do that, you will have to send us the uh, the documents required. As I mentioned before, your application form, uh, your academic documents, and uh, uh, other relevant documents needed. Uh, once accepted to the university, then it's a matter of doing the uh, uh, the second step, which is applying for a visa. That process is uh, a little bit more complicated, but we make it much easier for you. We give you all the instructions needed on your acceptance letter. We state exactly the documents that we need, exactly where and you need to. And I will be there. Assessment. Allow me to catch you right there. I will be oh, there. Of course, because okay. will to, be one of the people talking to, to assist you. To every, with everything in terms of any sort of clarification needed, either me, either one of my other colleagues. Every single step of your application will be 100% assisted by one of our advisors, one of my colleagues, obviously, either by email or by phone. Help you all the way, basically, till you have everything ready, so you can send them to us, so we can apply to migration on your behalf. Then uh, all that it, all that remains is uh, your patience until the visa is ready, so we can just send it to you, so you can join us here in Cyprus. Now, the big question um, that uh, some of you might have is that whether we will be uh, operating normally now in fall? The answer is yes. Uh, as the situation is now, we're planning to uh, to start normally in September 28th when it's the, uh, the semester start. So um, you can uh, proceed normally with your applications and we'll be more than happy to, to receive your applications and guide you through the whole process. Okay then. Well, it seems that we actually kicked out some questions. So we have a yes. question from Rosie Ocon and which is asking what is going to happen if there is no English qualification, if someone can start the studies, I'm assuming? Yes, uh, well, English is, uh, having an English certificate, an English qualification is not a requirement, actually. Uh, if you do have one, then great. Uh, you can send it uh, along with your other documents. If you don't have one, we can accept you based on your uh, uh, high school grade in English, and then have you take an English placement test uh, here with us so we can check exactly what your English level is. If you need additional English classes in order to uh, get a little bit better and then proceed with your degree, then we will provide those for you uh, so you can start normally. But as I said, if you do have an English qualification, then that uh, can be evaluated uh, accordingly and place you directly to one of our English levels. Okay, thank you. Moving on, question from El Sayed. El Sayed, oh, okay, El Sayed or Khalid. Uh, can students travel within Europe with just the student permit from UNIC? Wow, that's a good question. And actually, would, that would be one of the frequently asked questions. Well, that's one of the good things about coming to Cyprus to study, coming to a European country to study. The first thing is that uh, if you'd like to travel to, uh, to any other countries in Europe, uh, the distances are, are short. There are uh, cheap flights that you can have, uh, that you can book and uh, go to other countries. You can uh, join the Erasmus Exchange program and do a semester or a year abroad to one other uh, European university. Now, in terms of traveling to, to Europe with the student uh, uh, permit that you will have here, uh, I'm not really sure if you can travel to many countries. There are some countries that uh, uh, accept you to go there for a, uh, for a short duration. However, the, you can very easily talk to one of their embassies here, see exactly what the requirements are, and, uh, and make your arrangements to travel to any European country, which, as I said, 
the distances are short, so you can uh, travel wherever uh, with the cheap flights from Cyprus. Okay, and just to bring up the fact that, you know, there is always the possibility of Erasmus in which being a student here, no matter from which country, you'll obviously be able to to travel to towards other countries in Europe, you know, either for exchange for a few months or for even a semester. So those are, again, possibilities of studying in, in European university. Um, other question, because, again, related to, to student visa, how difficult of a process is to actually starting to apply for, starting obtaining these documents for a visa and how, what is the success rate? These again are the questions which we are dealing most of the times with. Well, that's a great question. The success rate, I have the, uh, the perfect answer for you. That's a hundred percent. As long as you give us the, the documents that we ask for, the, uh, with the correct attestations, then there's no reason for you not to receive your student visa. Now, in terms of the obtaining the documents needed, uh, that's a little bit, it, it's a, it's a, uh, process that requires some time, so uh, uh, you'll have to, depending on which country someone is coming from, of course, uh, but uh, we are with you every step of the way. Our counselors like Hostel will guide you through what you need to do. They will explain how to obtain documents and what you need to attest them. So uh, even though it might take some time to, uh, to gather all the documents, we'll be with you every step of the way. Okay, thank you for that as well. Uh, some other uh, things which should be obviously mentioned here that, again, uh, you are going to be, be getting all, every single time 100% assistance from any of the advisors in any of the single, um, any, any of the single um, steps you are going to take into your application from the day one in which you first, we first had the first communication until you are getting your admission letter and going together with the visa process, obtaining all the documents, you know, feedback until the last part. and finalizing it with by face-to-face -face meeting in Cyprus. Now, going through, we have some other question from Rosie, which she's inquiring about the fees and visa. Well, I believe here, if I can ask Panayotis, there are some, there is obviously, there is a visa admin fee in terms of fees that is obviously decided every single time. That is, it is to be decided in every single student, every single applicant uh, on private basis, I would say and all this information it is mentioned into an official acceptance letter, which obviously it is sent to the student after proceeding with the admission facts. And I can say as well regarding the scholarships, yes, we do offer a large amount of partial scholarships, but again, you'll have to be a successful candidate. So I would, I would advise every single student to proceed with the application, get your admission letter, and obviously you're gonna get all your questions answered case by case, analyzed by our committees. Let me remind everyone of the uh, early bear scholarship that uh, I mentioned before. Until the 30th of July, if you apply, uh, pr submit an application, uh, you're entitled to the 15% scholarship, uh, uh, like we said. Okay, then let's move on to Joel Lupakla. And Joel is asking if I can work with a student permit and roughly what jobs do students get and how much are they paid? Well, Joel. Yes, of course, Joel, you can, you can work with a student permit. You're legally allowed to work uh, six months after the start of your program, though. So uh, after you arrive in Cyprus, after six months, uh, you will be able to, uh, to start working. Uh, we do not guarantee work placement, though. So keep in mind that you will be uh, basically the one that needs to uh, look around and make sure, uh, you know, try and find something. Um, you are allowed to work 18 hours uh, per week while you have classes, uh, 38 hours per week when you are on holidays. And uh, the types of work that you can get, basically what you can, and you are allowed to look for jobs that are related to your field of study. So depending on the field of study, you can look into, into what jobs are available. And if I can add up here, there is also the possibility, you know, working within the university as a student assistant. There are majority of uh, our students, especially in the last years of study, they can um, easily apply for a position as a student assistant, which obviously depending on availability. But, you know, going to the second and third year of study, you obviously you are going to find a way to, you know, keeping yourself busy while you are not studying in, in a way to say so. Okay, so uh, some other questions which we are getting on a daily basis, obviously, whether it is a difficult process, these are mentioned, uh, these are parts of the student visa, if it's a difficult process, but 
I believe, Panayt, if I can say that, with the correct understanding of the procedures, obtaining all the documents and taking them, you know, to the responsible offices as you are getting the guidances, everything should be easily finalized within no longer than two or three, let's say, weeks. And after it remains only for the migration authorities to, to decide, and obviously, depending on the number of the applications to, to get to you. Now, if uh, Panayotis, if you would like to to add anything else, anything which you believe that we should point out to our uh, students, to our international students? Uh, well, I think we covered everything, at least mostly everything. If uh, if there's anything that uh, we haven't answered in this open day, feel free to, to get in touch with us uh, and we'll be more than happy to help you. As I said, if you visit our website and click on the Apply Now button, you can fill out a form and that will automatically create an account on our platform for you and we can get in touch with you and uh, and help you with whatever you need. Uh, so if there, are, if there aren't any more questions, uh, I will uh, uh, give the floor back to, to Mrs. Ria to uh, to close the, the event. So, hello again to everyone. As a director of the recruitment unit and international admissions, I want to thank you. Thank you for taking the time to listen to us. Thank you for being interested at the University of Nicosia. The aim of the presentation today was to introduce you to the great University of Nicosia unique, but at the same time to introduce you to the team, a fantastic recruitment team, which is there, available and willing to help you at any time. I have seen a lot of uh, questions about the visa. You are applying to the University of Nicosia in Cyprus, a lot easier simply because you will have a response by our team within maximum 48 hours of your application and upon completion of the documents together with the guidance of our recruitment counselors the university and our team is responsible to actually prepare your visa you need to know that we will be there with you supporting you from the day you get in touch with us until the day you graduate. University of Nicosia is very proud of offering the best support to all its students before they arrive, when they graduate, and even after the graduation. The recruitment team is here, it's ready, is willing, and as a director, I can guarantee that you will receive the best service possible. Basically, a beautiful island, a unique university, quality of education, safety, a university that offers high academic standard at very reasonable tuition fees and a place that you can call home. So a big thank you on behalf of my team. As I might have forgotten to introduce myself at the beginning, my name is Ria Nicoletti Morfidu. I'm the director of recruitment and I'm the proud director of a team of experts that will be there to help you be a member of the unique family. Thank you so much and have a fantastic day.